Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a PowerShell error. File cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on this system. So if you're coming across this problem and you just don't have enough permissions in order to execute a script, this tutorial will show you guys how to get those administrative level permissions in order to run that and we're going to be using unrestricted settings within PowerShell in order to actually be able to execute those commands. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu just so click on the start button one time. Type in Windows PowerShell. Best match should come back with Windows PowerShell right above app you want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator if, if you receive a user account control prompt left click on yes now I'm gonna have a couple commands in the description of my video the first one should start with a get execution policy list so just copy it directly from my description go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here right click on it left click on edit and then left click on paste exactly as it appears on my screen and once you're done with that it should automatically begin to run once you're done with that this should put a list up of all the user groups and whatever their execution policy status is so if you see anything that says undefined which is in my case here for all of them or restricted you have probably identified what the problem is so we're going to have to set this to unrestricted so copy my second command so I'm going to have again in my description of my video copy it from my description Go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window again, right click on it, left click on edit, and left click on paste. Welcome to type it in as well, but I find that it's more easy to make mistakes by just typing it in. So hit enter once you're done. should see an execution policy change notice here. I would suggest if you want to resolve the problem here, just go ahead and type the letter A. So I'm going to type the letter A, which is capital letter, to say yes for all. Once you're done running the one command, if you want to just turn it back to undefined or turn it off, welcome to go back in and just change it back. So once you're done with that, we're going to select the letter A, hit enter on your keyboard, and that should hopefully be about it. Now, like I said, if you want to change it back, instead of saying unrestricted, you could change it to restricted or undefined as it appears here. So pretty straightforward process. We just changed all of them to unrestricted. And if you want to change them all back to restricted, just do the same exact steps except type in restricted here. Take note of what it says up here before you close out of the Windows PowerShell window just so you know what everything is before you do anything. So pretty straightforward process. So close out of here, restore your computer and that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.